soldiers are telling us how interested they are to actually see the kit they use um, being used uh, in Ukraine. What's your assessment of seeing our kit on the battlefield? So having advanced kit is, is important. I mean, if it wasn't, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't seek it. Um, but the, the, I think the, the key thing to remember, and this is a constant, is it's how you employ that kit that's the most important. So I think we can take a lot of pride in the equipment that we've been given to the Ukrainians. So for example, um, they can't get enough of the AS-90s, um, the artillery pieces that we've been providing them. Um, the Javelin missiles that we provided in the early stages of the war were absolutely critical in holding back and stopping the Russian advances. And of course, you know, we've now seen the first challenges in action and the Challenger is um, in many respects one of the most advanced tanks in the world and it's certainly the best protected. And you saw that, you know, when one of the, the you know, the first Challenger was lost in action, the crew all gone out. They did, but what went through your mind when you did see it and destroyed? Oh, well, I mean, an emotional tug because I've probably been on that tank. You know, I mean, we have a deep affection with the vehicles and the equipment that we've been fighting with over the last years. But I also recognise that that's what happens in war. You've done an incredible amount in terms of training the Ukrainians. How have you adapted that over, you know, since the beginning of the war? And, and what are you learning um, real time from how they're fighting it? Our training contribution has been um, uh, the largest um, that there is. So we train about 30 to 40 percent of all of the Ukrainian soldiers who are who are uh, conscripts, if you like, who are the volunteers who are joining. And we do that with international partners. And we've listened to the Ukrainians themselves. So there's a constant dialogue between you know, the commanders forward and what they want to see in the training. We know that it's incredibly effective because the Ukrainians tell us that their best trained troops are the ones that we train. And we know from intelligence intercepts of the Russians that they can tell when they're up against troops that have been trained in the UK. So it's been a really successful program. I think we need to begin to pivot our training now from sort of quantitative, so generating mass, to qualitative and bringing it up a level so that we can begin to focus on training leaders, we can begin to develop or, or share our expertise in how you combine arms, you know, the way you fight to, to get against uh, an, enemy threats. Thank <laughs> you.